Okay, so I'm going to do a little video here looking at mirrors. Um, so a mirror is a, an edit we can use if we've got a part that's got an element of symmetry in it. Um, so rather than modeling something twice, we can just effectively copy it, clip it through a, a central plane and it will reappear on the other side. So this dumbbell here, obviously I need another end to it. I could just model it, but if you've got a part that's got various complicated bits to it, then you'll not want to maybe double up. Um, the other reason to do a mirror is <clears throat> if I change the diameter of this side and I'd mirrored it, then the, the, the other side would also change accordingly. So it's all linked. Now, um, some features obviously will mirror really well, others, others not so well. So let's let's try it. So we go to the mirror tool up here. And as in our on shape all the edits, you've got these options of what you are uh, mirroring and what you are, what, what sort of function you're going for. So here, um, we're going to go for a, a feature mirror and rather than a part mirror. So because I just want to mirror these these bits here. So what I need to do is I need to choose feature mirror here. I need to select the features I want to mirror. For me, that is the extrude and the fillet. Uh, when you're done, um, then you need to select the plane. So that's going to be the midpoint, which for me is this one here. And then it's going to mirror that. And you've got the other one on the other side. Now, that's still all one part. It's just mirrored that feature. What about this this text here? Well, I could add that in um, to my features here. I pop that on, but obviously because it's a mirror, um, it's going to end up coming out uh, in mirror writing, which is not what I want. Uh, if I wanted to have that repeated over there, is there any other way I could do it? Well, yep. Um, there's another video um, where we look at something called arrays um, in uh, on shape they call them patterns which is this tool here if you think about it what, what I really want to do is I want to take that and I want to sort of spin it around to there so that's what we can do with a, a radial array um, this isn't really a mirror but it is it's giving that effect so what I could do is I could I could pick my tool I could select again it's going to be the feature because I want to um, pan this feature um, and I'm going to select the, the extrusion I need an axis that's the middle this time it's going to spin it so you can see I've got a little line here that I've drawn on that sketch that's that's the axis that's like the bit it's going to rotate around um, and that would then um, should anyway now I only want two of them because I want one here and one there I want them to be equally spaced throughout the whole um, rotation so if I go for that um, we should end up with the text there. So that, that's not really a mirror, but we've, we've used something to give an effect of a mirror. So I've mirrored this this part here. Obviously, if it's something that is, is directional, then you need to think of another way of doing it, like using the, the array there. But a basic mirror is just going to be selecting the feature, selecting the plane, and then um, uh, mirroring it. A, a slightly different way here. I've got a, I've got a little bent bit of sort of pipe. I want to I wanna, um, actually create a complete loop out of that pipe so I can use the mirror. Now this time if I go for a mirror um, and I want to go uh, I've got the option again the feature or the part. Now this one here I'm mirroring the whole thing. If I try feature and I select the sweep and I select the plane what happens is it adds a new part because you've you've mirrored the whole thing. There is only that feature. So what we want instead to do is to create create actually a part mirror because this is effectively a whole part so I select the entity which is that I select the plane and um, I've now got the option as in all these uh, extrusion revolve etc in, in, in on shape to either add it or, or create a new so if I was to hit new there I'd create a new part part two which is the mirror of that that might be useful in certain applications but for this it's set up I just want one object so I'm gonna go add it's gonna merge it with the first bit if I press OK, you'll see I've just got the one, one part. Now, of course, I can mirror that again. If I want to do that again to make a complete loop, I can just go back to the mirror tool. And again, it's a part mirror. I'm going to select that entity, mirror plane. Now, this time I can't select this plane. Look, because it's not on it. But I can just select the face. So I hit that one there. Look, that is going to create that complete loop. So rather than doing that whole process in a sweep, I've ended up doing it just one part of it and then actually mirroring it twice um, and that time the second mirror there I don't have a plane um, but I was able to select the, the end face that I was going to mirror it around okay one other thing 
If I go back to the dumbbell here in a minute, I'm just going to remove uh, this uh, circular feature. Um, if I am mirroring that, then I used the centre plane here to mirror it to mirror it around. Um, what if I don't have the plane in the middle? So let's say I started off. I'm just going to put that. Um, like that for the minute. If I started off and I'd drawn my sketch like that, if I try and mirror this um, and I want to do a feature mirror, I'm going to select these two features. Um, my, my mirror plane this time, if I was to do that, I'm ending up with it over there. That's not going to work. It's going to create separate, totally separate parts. That's not what I want. I need a plane in the middle here. Now, on shape gives us a really quick way of generating a plane. Um, we could add one by um, offsetting that plane halfway if we know what halfway is, if it's an easy, easy thing to work out. But in our on shape here, we've got this option to do a mid plane, um, to create, sorry, a crane mid plane between two entities. So if I now select this plane here, which is the end, and then I was to select that one there, it's going to put a plane that is bang in the middle of those two. And what that means, then I can use the mirror tool to, so, to mirror the two features um, and this time I can use that plane oops sorry remember and select that that plane there and it'll drop it in the, in the right place so um, if you're doing a mirror you need a, a central plane if you haven't got a central plane you can use the um, mid plane feature here in, in in the plane tool to to create a plane exactly in the middle between two two spots Okay, so that's a mirror tool. Um, mirroring features, mirroring parts, mirroring parts of an object or mirroring the whole thing. And remembering as well, you can mirror um, more than once. You can you can create loops, you can create quite complicated shapes just from a little part of a part. Okay.